and come back as a Good morning. I started my morning off with a really weird dream. I'm not going to tell you it because it's one of those dreams that it could quite possibly come true. So it's like superstition. You don't tell a dream unless you eat something if you know it could possibly come true. So I'm going to wait until I eat something and then maybe I'll tell you it. Oh, I'll probably tell you it. It was weird. Let me just tell you that much. Very weird. I'm hungry. I gotta go find food. Sorry I didn't come back to you guys right after I finished eating. Just, I not got distracting. I'm kind of tired and I have to leave. Begin right for work in like an hour. Plus eat lunch. Yeah, I know, I ate two hours ago, and I mean two hours now. Yeah. Yeah. So, my dream. I was at work. And... There were a lot of people in there. A lot of people I didn't know. I kind of looked out the windows, and I... The sky kind of got gray and dark. And, like, not everything was, like vibrant colors but there were colors they were just muted tones and I saw this like huge tornado in the distance you see this is why the part of the dream where it could possibly happen I mean it's not impossible or improbable for it to happen here there could be a tornado it's a, not a fear of mine you know but it could happen and I think the funniest part was, it, yeah, it was frightening for myself in the dream, but I knew I was safe, I'd be fine, we get through it, and having to find a place to, like, hide, oh, my work, I'm like, where would I hide if I were at work and a tornado hit, where could I hide, and it would have to be either in the break room where there's no windows or the bathroom where I could use my belt to tie myself to the pipes <laughs> yeah I was that's it was just weird I don't even know why it's like not and this is I woke up like I was awake at six and then I laid down and went back to sleep for like another hour and I woke up from this. So I found that weird. That was my dream. Oh, excuse me, that was my dream. I'm so tired and I have to go to work. It's gonna be a long day. I'm there till ten. One thirty until ten today. And tomorrow one thirty to ten. But then I have a three day weekend. Yeah. That's the only good part. <sighs> I'm waiting for yesterday's to finish rendering so I can upload it. It's half rendered. And it's a quarter till 12. I need to go eat. I need to tell my mom that dream. Yeah. I need to go. I need to do stuff. Yeah what I need to do instead of sitting here doing nothing. My feet are cold. I should put socks on. That's something I can do. Right? Right? That's what I thought. So you know how you have those days that things seem like everything's really high and then by the end of the day you get that low point. Um, I think I kind of just hit that low point. I'm not going to go into any details just a little tired of being unappreciated around here. I'll just say that, I guess. Um, it may not seem like I do a lot from these because I keep my family separated from them. I try to avoid uh, following them in my vlogs because I don't think they would understand me. I don't Really, I'm like 
the odd person in the family. And in fact, my one cousin um, stumbled upon my videos and was kind of like, does Brandy need help? No, this is kind of help for me. It's like therapy. So I am doing a call at night and uh, I know it's short. <laughs> It's just, it wasn't a whole lot to do today. Mm. Tomorrow I go in at 1.30 a.m. to 10, but then I'm off for three days, so. <sighs> Maybe I'll find something. I don't know. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Hey guys, if you missed yesterday's vlog, so you can click on the bottom the right annotation. And if you want to see tomorrow's, click the, the upper left annotation. And for more funny stuff, check out the links in the description. I will see you guys tomorrow.